everyone, this is Grace of DB Mal Maltese, and I hope you are doing fine and frogs there. I thought I'd show you my cross stitch that I'm working on. I got this from 7great.com, and I got a PR package from them. This was part of it, if you didn't see that unboxing. And I thought, well, you know what? They're sending me a PR package, but I'm going to order another package and see how long it takes to get here. I purchased the things and wanted to see how much difference it takes for someone to get a PR package and a regular person to get one. And I ordered from a different account than what I got the PR from. So, I got this package in probably about a week and a half in that adorable. Um, and the other one, I got about two weeks. So hey, pretty darn close because I put my order in on this one and then I a little bit later I put it in for this so I am having so much fun doing this oh my goodness if you haven't tried stamped cross stitch this is so much fun and this is a size this is a 12 count so the holes are very close together I mean they're further apart the next one I'm going to do is a 14 count so I'm excited to start on that one. Isn't that cute? Well, let's get started with my goodies here. I'm excited. I don't remember what all I ordered. This whole package, I believe, was $67. That was the tax. Got free shipping if you order over $59 for it, which I always do. Oh, okay. I love this. You know, you can never, ever, ever have enough storage for your projects. So I, I ordered these project bags. We got some crinkling going on, but you know what? I like the crinkles because I think about Christmas and getting packages. It's just finding where to open it. That's only the fun part. Let me grab my scissors. I can't find the opening. And we don't want to stay here all day. These are little storage pouches. My goodness. One, two, three, four, five. Look how big this is. These are amazing. This is a size. They sold them by sizes A. A5 and A4, A3, something like that. Well, I ordered the largest one, which I guess maybe was an A3. Yeah, I think it was an A3. Well, it doesn't say it on this, but I got five of them. They come in packs of five, so you can order them bigger or smaller. No, I don't think they have them any bigger. I wanted one that would carry everything that I wanted to put in there. This is going to carry all of it. And it's got a zipper on top with this, so it's easy. Look at that! <laughs> I can fit everything I need and take this with me. Waterproof. It's going to be safe. Love it, love it, love this. Okay, I, um, gosh, I, I'm impressed, okay? So far, I am so impressed with these. They're tough. Okay, let's go to the next thing. Um, now, I love scissors. <laughs> I don't know why. I do. I like scissors, and I saw these, and I'm like, okay, I, I need these scissors. we go. They're rose gold. They have so many choices of scissors on their site. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. These are sharp. Okay, there's some oil on it. Yeah, there's oil on there. Get something to wipe it off on. Ouch. Oh, let me tell you, these are sharp. I just poked myself. Yeah, very sharp. So, perfect for cutting those threads. Now, I got two of these. 
because I feel like you, for me, these are needle, magnetic needle holders. You close them and it will hold your needles. Let's, I've got a needle right on this thing here. So, let's see. Yep. It holds my needle. I like to put these with different packages I have. So if I have more than one project going on, I put a few needles because I buy needles that don't just come with the kits because I like to have extras because I, I drop them and lose them. So yeah, these are nice. Really nice. This is nicer than the... I bought one on Amazon. This is so much nicer. Yeah, this is really nice. The one that I got on Amazon, this inside part keeps trying to fall out. This is staying in there good. So I ordered two of these. Stay sharp. And of course, I got them in turquoise. I like turquoise. So I can put these in my project bag. Stick that in there for a moment. I can put my scissors in there. I really, I need to put those in something else to keep them from poking holes. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, this is the other thing I was, I'm excited to see. It's another project bag, but this one has handles. Oh, I actually see where to open this one. I'm excited. And look how big this is. This will hold this. <laughs> yeah, look at the size. It's going to hold this. So this is a very large. It has handles, as you can see. And as you can see, it is much larger. This is probably like the size of an A2 light pad. Very large. The other is A3. And this also has Okay. This has the zipper on it. So you can put things inside there. I can put this in there. This way you could put more than one of these packages in case, hey, I don't know which one I want to work on, so I'm going to put, you know, two or three in there, and I'm going to carry them along with me. I was so excited when I saw this, because it's um, going to be waterproof. Because those, this is solid. That is, it, it looks like it's um, webbed, but it's not. That's solid. You can probably see the shine on it. Same as this. This is solid. It looks like cross-stitch material, though, doesn't it? I think that's kind of cool. Yes. Um, I ordered two of them, actually. Because I can never have enough bags. I don't know. Just call me the bag lady. Okay. Those were... Oh, no. Here's another tool that I got. They have all kinds of tools on their site. That you can look at. This one... I like my scissors better than I do these things, but I thought, hey, why not? This one has the little blades here, and you can cut your floss. If you're doing knitting or crochet, you can cut yarn. But isn't it pretty? So pretty. Now, okay, those are the tools. Now to get to the things I ordered that I want to try and make. And we shall see how that goes. Put my other scissors away. Okay, make some space here. The first one I'm going to show you has this beautiful gold rose design. And of course, the light is shining off of the plastic as it likes to do. 
This is a tote bag. Oh, this is nice. This has got, um, this is that really sturdy paper. And I have heard that if you get this part wet, it will smear all over the place. So, yeah. You need to be careful on any of your stamp projects. Don't get your things wet. And it, instructions here. Um, here's the picture. Of course, that's not what it's going to look like when it's done. It's supposed to look like this. Now, the part that uh, I'm going to be probably uh, a little bit I'm really curious about is how to do all this. This whole background is going to be done in black. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That should be fun, fun, fun. They do not have a legend on here. Um, and as you can see, this cloth goes up into the picture. And these handles right here... I may have to take this apart with a seam ripper, take this out, in order to be able to do this because it's going to be double to go through. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hard to lift up there. I could lift it up here and do this area, but that might be a little bit difficult. So, yeah, seam ripper, maybe getting some use here. And as you look at this picture, it's like, uh, what is it? That, that's, as I look at it, that's what I'm wondering. Now, I have seen, I've seen a couple people unbox these. And they were like, how in the world do you put it together? And as I've watched people, I think, I think, this is how it will go. This piece right here. It's going to be the backing to this, and you're going to sew it. Now, you may have to, I don't know, either cut that edge off that's hanging over, fold it over, whatever, but that will keep anything from seeing through, and it protects the back of your cross stitch, and nobody can see it, because this is going to be a bag. You don't want it hitting any of those things. And then you have this piece that is supposed to be the um, bag part. Now this part is fuzzy on the inside. So this has got to be the outside. So, after I would sew this together, then I guess you would sew this part on here. And it looks like it may need to be folded under also. I'm not sure. Well, when I get around to doing this, we shall see. And you're going to have to pull it up higher. So this would be kind of like the bottom part right here. And this is going to be the front. I'm not going to show you that same thing on the next one. But that's how I think it's going to go together. If you have done one of these... Or have any advice please please I beg of you tell me down below what you think or how you think it should be together I know this part is going to need to be stitched to the back of this and undoubtedly this has got to go together and then of course I'd have to sew these handles back on and I don't have a sewing machine so it's gonna be by the old hand method <clears throat> and I might just use my leather, I have a leather sewing kit, and sew them back on. I don't, I won't need to do it on these. But these, yeah, that's going to need to come off. So, if you have any ideas, I would love for you to tell me what they are. Now, these are the colors of the floss. Ooh. I do not know what brand this is, because it didn't say, but this comes on floss drops instead of 
the way my other ones have come on those two-sided pieces. Ooh, think, think there's enough black there? And since this is a 14 count, this will be done with two threads. I'm excited to try the floss drops out. Um, what you do is you just take one of them off and it's got the number on there. That's 646, so you just pull the one you need. So I kind of like that. And they do have the numbers written on the cards. So we'll see how much I like it when I start working on them. There's quite a few colors, actually. Now, when I looked at the picture, it looked like it was gold, like a metallic gold. I'm kind of glad it's not because I really didn't want to do metallic -y threads. It looks like it's going to be these, like a goldenrod color and yellows, and there's a little bit of white. And then here's some more yellows and browns. So, yeah, I think it's going to look, I think it's going to look pretty. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, see these three tins? Look how many cards. <laughs> there are of the 310. Yeah. Five and, yeah, 15 hanks of it. Okie dokie. That's going to be good. Let me rubber band that together again. So, those are the beautiful threads. They are pretty. And they are super, super soft. Really soft. Okay. Let's put that to the side. And I got another tote. If I had seen the one before this, I'm not sure if I'd have gotten two. I might have gotten just one to try it out. But hey, got to be up for a challenge sometimes, don't we? But this one is the one I would probably to do first because I love, love, love the picture on this. Look at those beautiful hummingbirds. It looks like yin and yang. Ugh. Just gorgeous. So let's see how. Oh. Well, we can kind of see. Okay. The background is all one color. So here, I will be going by this. And on the front, it does have symbols. It has the same symbols that are on this piece of paper here. So this is what I'll be going by. Kind of like a diamond painting. Uh, this one has 34 colors. And the other one has... Where is it? Uh, probably not as many. It has 22. Because it's just mostly those gold flowers. So this has 34 colors. So that's going to be really pretty. I think it's going to be gorgeous. Let's look at the... Okay, well, got it upside down. There we go. Of course, you can't really tell anything about it. Well, yeah, I can. I see the hummingbirds. I do. That's going to be gorgeous. I think it's going to be really pretty. Again, I'll need to do the same things to do it, put it together. This material right here is so soft to go in the back. Yep. Again, you have the fuzzy side. We'll go on the inside. So that kind of tells me how I need to do it. Ugh. Let's look at the colors. I'm excited. Now, I forgot to show you the little kit that came in the other one. Because I'm so excited about these. But it comes with a little pom-pom with all these different needles in it. I think it looks like five, maybe, needles in there. Yeah. Then you get a little thimble you can put on your finger, and you have a threader. And I have a needle threader that I purchase that I use all the time. Now let's look at the colors. That's what I'm excited about. Because those hummingbirds are gorgeous. They are so pretty. Again, these are on floss drops. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> Look at these colors. This right here. Oh my goodness, look at that. This right here is probably my favorite. Look, that's gorgeous. Kind of a turquoisey color. <gasps> Beautiful. And this right here is not black, it's a dark green. 
Can you see that? They're very soft. Aren't they pretty? There's a lot. Again, this is a size 14 count. You can see the difference in the squares are a little bit closer together than the uh, 11 count that I showed you earlier that I'm working on. Tell me what you think. I, I love it. I love these. Go check it out, 7 grade and or a stamp cross stitch. I don't, I, I'm loving it so much. Anyway, I'm going to let you go for now and take care guys. I love you. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.